I am Sam and this is Chrislyn and we're freshman students in Mr. Rasmussen's Integrated Science class fifth, for fifth period. And we're talking about what we learned in Integrated Science this semester and what I understood the best. And in, in IS this semester we have learned the basics of chemistry. Chemistry is the study of matter and how it changes. Matter is anything that has mass and volume, which is easy to know. It is made of tiny particles that are in constant motion. And we have classified matter as either a, a substance or a mixture. Substances can be either elements made of atoms or a compound made of molecules. Covalently bonded atoms like two nonmetals that share electrons or ions. Ionic bonded atoms like between a metal and nonmetal that give or take electrons. Mixtures can be homogeneous, evenly mixed, or heterogeneous, which means unevenly mixed. And homogeneous mixtures can, are also called solutions, and solutions can be acidic or basic. Acids will react with bases in a neutralization reaction producing water, H2O, and salt. This reaction, like all chemical reactions, produces a more stable electron configuration for the reactant. Eight valence electrons. Neutralization is a double displacement reaction. We concluded this semester looking at the nucleus, <coughs> the mysteriously dense center of the atom that is unstable or radioactive for, for some isotopes. And some isotopes are so unstable that they will split or fission. And Homo sapiens have clearly taken advantage of this property to produce huge amounts of energy using the equation E equals mc squared. And what I learned most this semester was the alpha and beta and gamma radiation neutron little dance that our teacher, Mr. Rasmussen, came up with, which I thought was kind of interesting and quite fun. What I understood the best of all we studied was the periodic table of elements because we had individual elements that we studied and it was